Today, we want to look at this simple substructure works and remind ourselves about how we take off quantities of trench excavation. And then this plan or this section of ours, we have some rock that are existing. So we also want to look at how to take off quantities of rock existence. So guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. My name is Christine. Kindly subscribe, share, and don't forget to to leave a comment so this is the plan that we have we are majorly going to dwell on the two items so our plan is that one and then we have the section and then if we have some notes here we've been told the site is bushy remove vegetable soil average 150 millimeters and then rock exists 1500 millimeters below ground level so we want to look at those two aspects so we are going to start with trench excavation. So we are going to excavate our trench. Remember when we are excavating the trench, we, we need the mini gut, the perimeter along the, along the center line. So what we are going to do, we are going to take the measurements, the length and the width, and then we are going to calculate the mini gut. So we are going to start from this point, that is 200 plus 8,000, plus 200 plus 4000 plus 200 plus 4000 plus 200 for the length we are going to take this entire length because it's perimeter it means we are going to pull this this length here bring it down here we pull this one here we bring it down here and the same case applies for the with it we are going to take this with it we put it here we take this one this one here we put it so no sorry we are going to take this one we put it here and then we take this one we put it here so at the end of the day we are going to have a, a rectangle so we are going to take the entire length and the entire width it so our length is 16800 and then our width it is 200 plus 2000 plus 200 plus 2000 plus 200 plus 2000 plus, 200 plus, 2000 plus another 200 that gives us 6800 so for us to calculate the mini gut remember we said we can either choose to use the external measurement or the internal measurement so for this case we are going to use the external measurement so we are going to use the mini the external measurement so our external measurement is what we've gotten here that one so our length so our the mini gut is 2 into length plus with it that is the perimeter and then we less the thickness for the thickness so our thickness is 200 so 2 into 16800 plus 6800 minus 4200 that is 800 it's giving us 46 46400 millimeters so that is our mini gut we proceed to the depth now our depth we need depth of excavation from this point from ground level here from ground level here downwards we need that depth up to the bottom of the bed so this is 200 plus 1950 giving us 21 2150 mm -hmm. now we did another video on reduced level so the reduced level for this case will be we take this from this point remember reduced level is the depth that we need to excavate from ground level after stripping up to the bottom of the this bed here the hardcore bed so we are going to take these ones up to this that point we add and then we subtract 200 and then we also subtract 150 that is the vegetable vegetable soil so we have 50 for the maram bed 315 for the hardcore and 100 for the oversight concrete so we add that one they give us 465 so it means from this point up to this point is 465 so we less the 200 so we are left from this point up to this point so again we less the 150 that we had excavated vegetable soil so what remains after 150 here is 115 so that is our reduced level now our depth will be our depth of excavation for the trench remember we have already excavated we have already removed the 150 and then we have already excavated the 115 so our depth will be the total depth that is 2150 and then we less the vegetable soil and the reduced level that gives us 18 eight five millimeters and then the width of the trench is of course we have been given here 600 millimeters that is 
600 millimeters. So we book that one. So this 1885 is done in stages. Remember, excavation for trenches is done in stages. Stages of depth not exceeding depth up to 1.5, that is 1500 millimeters. And then the next one is 15 milli 1500 millimeters to 3000 millimeters. So this one we are going to do it in stages. The first stage we book the 1500, and then the second stage we book what? What remains. So our mean gut was 46.40, the, the width is 0 0.60, the first stage is 1.5, and then we excavate trenches to receive strip foundation, starting from the least level, depth not exceeding 1.5. What remains, we book it in the second stage, 46.40, 0 0.60, 0 0.39, excavate trenches to receive strip foundation, depth exceeding 1.5, but not exceeding 3.0 meters, and then we, we backfill. Mm -hmm. Now let's move to the next the next thing. So we are going to look at the rock that exists. We have a rock. We've been told the rock exists here at this point. We've been told the rock exists 15 millimeters below ground level. So our average depth from ground level up to the bottom was 2150. And then from this same ground level at a point 1500 below, there's a rock that is that is existing. So what we do, so what we do, we, we subtract that to get the depth of the rock, that is 650, and then we book it, the mini guard, 46.40, 0 0.60, 0 .60, and then the depth is 0 0.65, and then you say extra over for rock excavation in normal soil. So guys, that is how we do it. Thank you for your time. Until next time, bye-bye.